So many people get stuck in the energy of frustration when things don't work out. When things don't work out the way you hoped that they would or wanted them to. Because you wanted them to work out so badly. And now your mind is telling you it's impossible that it didn't work out because you didn't want it to. You wanted it to more than anything. This can't be my fault because I didn't do anything bad. And if I did, I didn't do it on purpose. And it's certainly not what I want. So how can it be my fault? It's got to be their fault. And then you spend your time and energy looking at how other people did things that were not good for you. And then what you realize is that you realize you always wanted to be the good person, the good girl, the good boy. A lot of this has to do with the order in which you are in your family. Were you the oldest? Were you the youngest? Were you the middle? Were you one of many middles? You got praised for when you helped out, when you were a good boy, when you were a good girl. You got attention. You got admiration. You received affection, attention, love, connection when you were good. When you were not a problem as well. When you were good, you were liked. So you began to really care about being good and being liked. You want to look like the one who has it all under control. But here's the thing you may still not understand. That being nice and being kind are very different. One requires very healthy boundaries and a level of powerful self-respect. And having boundaries and following another person's rules are very different things. And when you're just trying to be good, just trying to be liked, to receive that external validation, the energy in which you will do things is very different. The experience and expression of what you develop, the resentment, the anger, becomes projected. And the stories that fill your head about who you are, if you don't do what they want you to do, if you're not seen as a good girl or boy or nice, without having boundaries, with feeling afraid to say no, what you truly want is evidence that you are loved for who you are, not for who you were told you had to be. What are you ready to change about you so that you can be completely free with who you're meant to be.